Thank you. He's done. <laughs> Vice President Jojo Binay, former President Joseph Ersto Estrada, and Mrs. Dr. Aloy Ersto Estrada, Senate President Manu Dower Juan Ponsenrile, Mrs. Cristina Ponsenrile, Congressman Jack Ponsenrile, Ms. Katrina Ponsenrile, Coach, <laughs> Speaker Sunny Belmonte, other members of the House of Representatives, Centers Present, Excellencies of the Diplomatic Corps, Executive Secretary Pagito Choa, and other members of the Cabinet, Honorable Members of the Judiciary, His Eminence Ricardo Cardinal Vidal, Archbishop Se Palma, Ambassador Manolo Lopez, Mr. Oscar Lopez, Mr. Gabby Lopez, fellow workers in government, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Aminabal Kupong Kababayan, Magandagabi po sa all of us, whether we are holders of public office or private citizens, are called to action during the defining moments of our nation. Long after the fact, we are also called to bear witness to those defining moments. Manong Johnny belongs to the generation not only familiar with, but passionate about the classics. So tonight, let me begin with how the ancient Greeks defined history. It was a narration of past events and also served as a warning of things that might happen again. By putting forward his recollections and his opinions, Manong Jani bears witness to some of the most tragic and controversial events of our history, including martial law. His committing his memories and opinions to paper is a contribution to the historical record. This book allows future generations not just to explore other perspectives, it empowers future generations to avoid the errors of the past. After all, this book will hopefully give us an opportunity to hear insights from the side of those who decided, for instance, to experiment with strongman rule. What went through their minds back then? How do they choose to remember it now? Hopefully, we will be able to answer these questions amongst others and add to the body of knowledge of what transpired so we may be able to avoid the needless suffering that took place during martial law. Who knows? This book may provide the inspiration for even more books. For now, I look forward to the time when, hopefully, not too long from tonight, I will be able to go through all of these pages with the time, attention, and in the detail they deserve. I expect there will be many things Manung Jani and I will certainly disagree on, but I assume there will be points that we can agree on. After all, I have made my views on martial law and dictatorship crystal clear in my remarks last Friday in Laur and at the Bantayog ng mga bayani. Any book, however, aspires to outlive its author and the milieu from which it sprang. How we bear witness may lead to our making opposite conclusions. It also extends the dividing line not just within but across generations. For younger readers, let me assure you this is a healthy thing. Being exposed to opposing views is the hallmark of a true democracy. In a democracy where thoughts can contend, we must embrace the challenge and the opportunity those competing ideas represent. The challenge is to engage people with different views without being tempted to resort to oppression. The opportunity is to discover that we can share a common goal. That goal is an improved democracy, one that arose from a vibrant democracy where debate inspires innovation and innovation serves the common good. I saw the possibilities of this for myself in the Senate. Who would have thought Manung Jani and I could find common ground and vote the same way on some, though maybe not all, measures? We could agree to disagree on the past, but we also discovered we could agree on many things in the here and now and contribute to future betterment of our people. At the end of all of our lives, the challenge of the epistle of John will confront us all. And I quote, So then, if we do not know the good we should do, we are guilty of sin. Close quote. We will be held accountable to our maker for this, but we will also be held accountable to human history. And here, the often misquoted words of Edmund Burke come to mind. We are familiar with the saying, and I quote, for evil to triumph is for good men to do nothing, close quote. What he really wrote, I understand, was this, and I quote again, when bad men combine, the good must associate, else they will fall. One by one, an unpitied sacrifice in a contemptible struggle. Close quote. May all of us hope to live as long and as vivid a life as Manung Jani. And may all of us seek, seek in this book the lessons that will, allow us, that will allow us 
to advance as a people. May I say thank you, Manning Johnny, for sharing your thoughts, your ideas, your viewpoint that undoubtedly will enrich all of our peoples. Thank you. Good night. Thank you very much, President Benigno S. Aquino III.